Hi, I was working on an Octel uh, 250 uh, voicemail the other day. I didn't know much about it, but I, I found out a few things that I wanted to share with you that might make your life a little bit easier if you were in the same boat. Um, first of all, the unit is gigantic. It's about the size of a big dorm refrigerator. It's about three foot high and about two feet wide, about two feet deep. It's using a gray cabinet, got that little blue Octel logo on it. And there's a console, and it's it's actually not too bad once you get in. The password could either be uh, the serial number of the unit. It could also be uh, either the number nine five times or maybe six times. Uh, just Google some different references to uh, Octel System Manager password. Uh, try looking up on the bottom of the keyboard. I know a lot of telecom guys tend to write that password on the bottom of the of the uh, keyboard uh, or sometimes if you open up the cabinet it's in there anyway so it's menu driven once you get in and I was working on this and needed to do a graceful shutdown I couldn't just turn the power off I needed to, to gracefully shut it down so once I got in here what I found you could do was uh, choose the menu for uh, system maintenance which is number 13 and then once you get in to there, there's another menu, and then what you want is uh, the option that says uh, shut down with, uh, with dump, and that's option one. Now, if you want to go back up one level, just hit the, hit the enter key with nothing in the uh, enter option field, and it'll go back to the previous menu. Anyway, if you choose shut down with dump, it goes through a whole series of screens, and you, you, it doesn't look like it's shutting down. It almost looks like it's booting up, but it eventually gets to a point where it either tells you, uh, do you want to, um, I think it says the system is halted, and then uh, you can either choose to start booting it again. That's what the booting, that this, this video part right here now is what it looks like when it's booting up. Um, and then also, you can... There's a point, like I said, where it says it's halted. You can reach around in the back. There's a there's a big power rocker back there that you can flip off um, if you want to do a cold restart. Anyway, the, the rest of this video for like the next oh, three and a half minutes is just the different screens that I was seeing. I do want to point out two things before I shut up. One is, is that during the boot up sequence, there's a point at which it asks for boot method, and it gives you a little choice. And there's like... Uh, I don't know, three choices. Anyway, the one that you want is uh, option B. B is in Bravo or B is in Boy, and that'll that will um, have it continue the boot sequence. And then the second thing it'll do is there's another spot where it says, I think it says choose boot method, but it doesn't give you that little menu of choices. And the option you want is A. A is an apple or A is an avocado, um, and that will have it continue the boot sequence. Anyway, the problem I was trying to solve here was that the voicemail was running but not answering calls. And it, what it turned out was is that in the middle of the boot sequence, or I should say near the end of the boot sequence, it was prompting the console user, I mean, you know, whoever was standing in front of this console screen here, for the time and date. And it wouldn't go past that. So if you see that when you're booting back up, um, you need to manually enter the, uh, the time and the date. Uh, and and then it will uh, continue to boot up a few more minutes after that, and then it will be running. Okay, so just, you know, to recap, if you do run into an Octel where they say that, you know, it's not responding, it's not answering phone calls or not, not letting people check their voicemail, but you go in and you see that it's physically running, you can hear the power running, you might try doing a cold reboot and then, uh, and then uh, check to see if it's uh, asking for the time and the date. Okay? So, thanks for watching.